Cut Hello YouTube, Stoner Boys here, and I wanted to address something with everybody, um, just pretty much anybody out there who's listening to this video, plus my subscribers. Thank you subscribers, thank you for tuning in. Now listen, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but I'm a huge Silent Hills fan. Silent Hills is an excellent, horrific video game series with some of the best psychological horror ever put to a video game, especially playing as Jank Sunderland in Silent Hill 2 was a fantastic, perfect experience. And trust me, when you're stoned off your ass in the dark alone, you're... I was playing that game, you have issues. Anyway, so, with that being said, when Silent Hills PT was announced, I couldn't believe it. I almost cried, because I had been waiting years for a real Silent Hills game, because I know I'm not alone when I say this, but everything after Silent Hills 4 was shit. So, I was expecting to finally get the real Silent Hills game that I wanted. I bought my, you know, APS4 from my friend, uh, Fred, and you know what, it was an amazing experience. I was loving next gen. These cool new indie horror games that I got for free for game sharing, these badass games that I got on Christmas. But way before then, before I really had any games for the PS4 yet, I had one game and that was Destiny, and I was enjoying it at the time. And I really loved the game at the time, I thought it was one of the greatest games ever. And I also had a little certain game called Silent Hills PT. I heard all about it, I saw it all over YouTube, I thought, whoa, this looks like the scariest game ever. So I plugged in my freaking Pulse headset and I played it. And guys, it was just amazing. One of the best horror game experiences. When I learned that Kojima, the creator, Hideo Kojima, the creator of one of my favorite game series, Metal Gear Solid, and, and freaking um, Guillermo del Toro, the guy who made the uh, Pan's Labyrinth and all those other freaking things. And now, you know, he's got Hellboy and all that, and now he's teaming up with him to make freaking Silent Hills with Norman Reedus. We were all ready, okay? The point is, we were all excited. We were all, mm. And what the fuck does Konami do? The one opportunity when you had to bring your fans back to make a lot of money to have a whole lot of fans being super scared and mind blown of one of the greatest horror game masterpieces that ever could have been made. You fuck it up by canceling it because of some internal affair with freaking Kojima. You pussy ass bitch motherfuckers because you want to make your dumb gambling machine capsule shit. That is the reason because they do not care at all about what the gamers want one bit and they know it and they're open about it and they don't even care you guys are ridiculous how could you just shut that down and even if you were just trying to be greedy for money why didn't you just let this game be made you would have made a lot of money now they're trying to team back up together because of the signature thing and remake it but still i don't care i don't want them to remake nothing i don't want, i mean not remake it they're gonna make a new game but no i want them to make silent hills bro that game looked amazing, didn't it? It looked like it was going to be some uh, multiple universes, dimensions, all this weird psychological stuff. It was going to be amazing. It was going to be scary. And it was going to be surreal. Finally, a true horror game. We were finally going to get a real, true psychological horror game. It was going to change everything and you destroy it. You're, we're lucky they're, they're teaming back up, bro. We're going to get some other horror game. Let's hope it's just like Silent Hills. Let's just hope. Oh my god, if, if not better, okay? You guys are fucking ridiculous, okay? That was so stupid. So simple. All you fucking had to do was leave them alone and let them make the fucking game. You guys ruined Silent Hills. You should have just let them do their thing and be their creative, perfect selves. Hideo Kojima, get on the total. I love you, man. I respect your movies. I respect your directing style. I fucking love you. I love Pacific Rim. Pants Labyrinth, Hellboy, Hellboy 2, man, dude, I respect you, and even that show that you made, it kind of sucks, but, I still love you. Man, and Hiro Kojima, you did a great job with Metal Gear Solid, but, and I freaking love you, man, you guys are, you, that was hilarious, that Easter egg you put in the third game, but anyways, jeez, it's just, the point is, 
you guys know I'm a huge fan, and Silent Hills is amazing. Team Silent did a great job, and once you got rid of Team Silent, it was over. The series went down. Silent Hills 4, to me, was the last great Silent Hills game. Because Silent Hill 2 is the best. Silent Hill 3 was really pretty good. It was really good. The remasters. Ugh, ugh. You ruined everything with the remasters. That's another thing you did. You fucking destroyed everything. I saw that. I knew. When I saw that, bro, because I remember playing Silent Hills as a kid, and I was just too terrified to play. I got older and revisited these games, and I love them to death. I'm a huge fan of Silent Hills, bro. I love horror games. I love Outlast. I love that other weird horror game that I forgot the name of. And, you know, I, I even love, um, and this is gonna be hard to admit, oh, <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> I love Five Nights at Freddy's. Fuck you, fuck you, alright, anyway, oh, come on, it's not my fault, okay? Jeez, it's not because of that furry fandom weirdness, Look, I just love the lore and how deep and gruesome it really is, it's really interesting. That's really what I like about it mostly. I know the gameplay is repetitive, but it is pretty damn scary. So, if it's a good scary experience, then I call it a good horror game. And that's what they all are. They are some good scary experiences except for 3. That didn't scare me at all. But, moving on. Konami, um, fuck you forever. You know, you can have your gambling slots, you pieces of shit. Rock. And you, Silent Hills, you, oh, Let's hope, Silent Hills fans out there, you know, because Star plays is stoned right now, so he is speaking and rambling, but what I'm saying is true, and the truth is, if they're teaming up together to make this new game, they're saying, we're going to make another project, that's what they're saying, so thanks, because there's a signature. I don't know if you guys knew, but there was a signature to bring this game back, and I, of course, I signed it the day it came out. <clears throat> so, you know, after I did that, I, you know, it blew my mind, but not too long later, just about like two months, I believe, we finally, they, they announced that, you know, recently that, you know, they're teaming up to make a new, you know, project, and uh, you know what, that is awesome, you know, because we're still gonna get something amazing, we just, I just know it, they're gonna probably do, either they're gonna probably just remake Silent Hills and just you know, hype it up and hide it, or maybe they're gonna make something even better, you know, who knows, maybe they got used to everything and realized, hey, let's try it what we did again, like, who knows, man, let's just hope we finally get the hard game we deserve, and do not ever, if you guys do not buy Metal Gear Solid 5, obviously, do not support Konami, look what they did, they're not even putting Hideo Kojima's name on there, that means, they only paid him to make the game. They're not going to pay him for the game itself. That's fucked up. He made the damn game. They're not even going to give him credit for what he did or pay him any further. That is wrong, bro. And they're not telling us why. That's fucking horrible. How, how dare you? You won't even tell us why. How could we trust you? And how can you spend money on Metal Gear Solid 5 saying, um, maybe if we spend money on Metal Gear Solid 5, um, Konami will, um, they'll support, um, Hideo, like, what the fuck? That was a real comment! That was a real comment, everybody, on Steam, on the Steam, whatever. Bro, that was ridiculous. When I saw that, I could not believe, and he, he's not the only one saying that. You guys, if you buy Metal Gear Solid 5, I just want you to know, and I, I know, I know, some of you really want this game, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not trying to get you for buying it, but I'm just saying, this is the truth, and I'm just, I'm here to tell the truth. That's what I'm here for. If you buy Metal Gear Solid 5, you are supporting Konami's decision to take Hideo Kojima's name off and not give him credit. You're supporting that Konami made that and Kojima ain't shit. And it doesn't matter what he feels and what he thinks. They took away one of the greatest horror games of all time. We were going to get one of the best. You know, all these Five Nights at Freddy's haters are going to get the real deal. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, it was definitely much scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, hell yeah. And on top of that, we were going to get so much more from multiple different franchises, and they ruined them. And they didn't even do the Silent Hill remasters right. They have fucked over the community long enough, and they're ready to leave now? Cut and run. Get rid of Hideo Kojima. Get rid of everything that made them good, and they don't even care. And they're just abandoning everything. And you're going to support that when you buy the game. 
You're supporting that. This is their, they're about to escape. The next Metal Gear Solid is going to be a mobile phone game. Huh. Sax Bethesda, those are very successful. Anyways. Um, just wanted to let you guys know. But, it's okay. Because, at least, we have that game. And who knows what's in the future. <laughs> Anyways, so, thank you guys. Um, Stoner Plays is out. Stay on, stay with the future of Rana. And make sure that you comment. I will respond. I always do.